Okay guys, today I am making lasagna. I have already boiled the noodles, so let's get started. All right guys, so we got the Hunt's tomato sauce. We have some mild cheddar. We have some mozzarella and some Colby Jack. So I'm just gonna throw a little bit of everything that I have in there, all the kinds of cheeses, because I don't have a whole lot of cheeses today. Um, and then I have some ricotta cheese. Some ricotta cheese. Can you guys see that? I'm only going to use about half of that because in a couple of days, I'm going to make some lasagna with um, creamy Alfredo. I'm going to make a second pan in a few days. This will last us at least two days. So um, that's kind of what I'm going to do. We were going to make the creamy Alfredo, but I need to go get another jar of the creamy Alfredo. Anyways, so today we are just making regular lasagna without meat. Um, actually, I'm going to put pepperoni in it. Okay, guys. So this, this burner right here in front of us is hot. Um, I'm going to cut up some pepperoni. That burner's hot. So I got to be careful. I don't burn myself. Just going to cut up some pepperonis. We'll probably put pepperoni in one or two layers. And that's it. And I'm going to cut them smaller. Let me see. Let me get a small plate. All right, guys. So that's all we're going to do is cut some pepperonis up so that we have a few pepperonis to put in. Um, to put in lasagna. That's probably funny. You can put meat in your lasagna. You can put pepperoni. You can put salami. You can put whatever you want in your lasagna. It doesn't really matter. It's your taste. It's not somebody else's taste. If you like it a certain way, make it the way you like it, guys. Make it the way you like it. I think I'm just going to cut my fingers on this and cut this in half. Okay, I'm just going to cut up some little pieces and um, you'll see, I'll drop them in a, a certain layer. I won't drop them in the whole thing. Because it'll be, you know, if anybody's ever ate pepperoni, pepperoni overwhelms a lot of things. So, um, it's pretty strong. Mmm, that's good. It's definitely good. Okay, so, the first layer is going to be... Um, some spaghetti sauce in the bottom of the pan. Alright guys, so I got the noodles. And what we'll do is we'll spread this, this around in the bottom of the pan. This just kind of, kind of keeps the bottom noodle from, um, you know, from sticking to the pan. Okay. Noodles are still hot. So this pan, I think it fits three across. Fits them pretty nice. I got a different kind of throwaway pan at the dollar store. Um, it's actually called a lasagna pan because it fits your lasagna noodles. Okay, so we need to put some ricotta cheese. I actually make lasagna 
Sometimes I make it a different way. I make it with um, sour cream and um, cream cheese. But Haley doesn't like it that way, so we are going to make it with ricotta cheese the way Haley does it. All right, so now next step, we put the noodle down. We're gonna put some more spaghetti sauce in here, right on top of the, the noodle. Then we're gonna put a little bit of um, ricotta cheese. Let's see, I'll probably use this one. We're just gonna break it up and put a little couple little pieces here. Um, All the way across. And like I said, pepperoni takes, um, I mean, this it's real strong. So we're not going to do the pepperoni, but on one layer. And it's probably not going to be this layer. Maybe the next layer. I have Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. I'm just going to sprinkle this. I have a bunch of different kinds of cheese that are almost at the bottom of their thing. So we're just gonna use it until it's gone. And then we'll, you know, use whatever we have left. All right, so then I'm just gonna do my next layer. Next layer. Uh-oh, don't stick, don't stick. Why are they sticking? There we go. Um, I love lasagna. I love Italian food, guys. I am. I should have been born totally Italian because I love Italian food. Pour some more sauce on it. Um, put your ricotta cheese on it. Spread that out. Put that all over as much as you can. Um, I'm only, like I said, I'm only going to use half of this half of this um, container because I'm going to make lasagna again in a few days. Alfredo lasagna. I have never made I shouldn't say never. I've made Alfredo lasagna one time for Haley's friend that was here that was allergic to what was she allergic to? The, the meat sauce. The um, spaghetti sauce. So I made Alfredo lasagna for her, but she didn't want ricotta cheese in there. She didn't want, all she wanted was the noodles and the Alfredo. So it really wasn't Alfredo lasagna because she didn't want nothing in there. Anyways, here goes the pepperonis, guys. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the pepperonis to one end. Just in case somebody says, oh, pepperoni, that doesn't taste very good. So one half's going to have pepperoni and one half's not. I probably cut too many. That's okay. Maybe I will put it on a couple layers since I cut so many. Instead of putting hamburger, you put um, pepperoni. All right, so we probably will put a couple couple layers of that. All right, so, oh, no, I need the cheese. Almost, almost forgot the cheese. Now this is the end of this cheese. So that one's garbage. Now we have some mild cheddar. Which, um, yeah, I need to go to the store and get a couple of things. I hate going to the store when I need a couple of things because, let me tell you, I, um, I end up spending way too much money and I only go for, say, I only go for cheese. I'll end up spending a hundred dollars and I only needed cheese. So, I gotta be careful going to the store when I don't need a lot because I spend too much money. But I do have to go tomorrow and get another thing, or the next day, and get another thing of the um, creamy Alfredo sauce. Hopefully that's a good kind of Alfredo. It looks really good. I never tried that brand before, so we'll see. So, if I'd have got it today, I'd have made both pans today, but I didn't get it today, so. Okay, so put your sauce in there. 
and your ricotta cheese. How many people use ricotta cheese? Um, and does anybody do it the other way that I made it with the um, sour cream and the cream cheese? Oh, I think that's so good that way. Sour cream, um, cream cheese, hamburger. It's really good that way, but Haley doesn't like it. So, I try to make something that we'll all eat. I mean, we all like it this way. Um, sometimes when I make two pots or two pans, I make that that kind for me and Tyler. All right, so we're going to put some more pepperoni at this end only. These are like stuck together, so um, some people are going to get a big gob of pepperoni. And um, we'll see. They might like that half of the... Um, that half of the um, lasagna better with the pepperoni in there. They might say, oh, well, that's really good. Or they might say it's gross. I don't know. Everybody in the house likes pepperoni. Okay. So, next layer. Oh, no, cheese. Why do I keep forgetting the cheese? Hmm. Now, this is mozzarella. And it's all stuck together. I hope it's good. Do I see any any mold anywhere? I don't. It's good. It's just probably the way it was in the package. It never been opened before. And cheese, for those of you who don't know, cheese lasts a good long time, guys. Okay. Now, the next layer. There went my spoon. All right. Next layer of spaghetti sauce. And um, ricotta cheese. I can use a little bit more ricotta cheese this time because I'm not using that much. And um, there's a good bit left. We're almost to the top. We have a lot of noodles left. I mean, that might be, yeah, it's probably not going to be enough sauce. I was going to say, I could probably just go ahead and make the um, other lasagna. But I just don't think that's going to be enough sauce. Okay. So, we might as well use the rest of this pepperoni at that end. Because there's not much left. Okay. And the cheese. Hopefully I got some garlic bread that I can make with this tonight. That way dinner will be ready when um, they get home. All right, another layer. To see how many layers is left. I could probably do two more layers. Oh, maybe three more. Probably need some more sauce. Might as well make it as thick as I can, right? All right, I need another can of sauce, guys. All right, guys. It opened that time. All right, so some more spaghetti sauce on here. Put a little bit extra this time. All right. Ricotta cheese. Kind of the same thing. You guys are probably like, we've already seen that. Speed this video up. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to put it in the oven on 350. Let me preheat my oven 350. Get my pots and pans out of there. Always have pans in my oven, guys. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So... All right, guys, Let's add some cheese. And it seems like something's missing. Oh, we didn't do pepperoni on this layer.
I like meat in my lasagna sometimes. Um, but everybody likes it without meat, so I'm just going to make it the way everybody likes it. Because if they like it and they're happy and it lasts a couple days, I don't have to cook it for a couple days. So that's a good thing. Spaghetti sauce. I'm going to have so much sauce left over, guys. Okay. So we're going to we're going to back off on the on the ricotta cheese because um, we're getting about halfway mark and I want to save some for um, the other lasagna. Okay. Cheese. How many people make lasagna because for a small family because it lasts a few days and you don't have to cook? Let me know. I like to cook, but it's nice when I don't have to. <laughs> it's really nice when I don't have to. Usually if I'm planning a long weekend, I usually make a couple pans of lasagna. And then I don't have to cook. But, um, see, we're running out of noodles here. Put these little pieces of noodles. <laughs> little pieces of noodles. Might as well use them all, right? All right, there we go. Now we're just going to pour the rest of the sauce over top. I'm just going to, I'm just going to kill it. I'm going to pour it all in there. Because otherwise, I think I a teeny bit in a, in a to put away to store away. All right, so I'm not even going to use ricotta cheese. This is the top. I'm just going to put cheese on it. Mozzarella cheese, guys. Mozzarella. That's the way the inside's good. Really good. I'm making a mess. Come on, Louie needs to come lick this stuff up off the floor below me. Okay. So, there it is. I'm going to throw it in the oven. I'm going to cover it with foil. I'm going to throw it in the oven for an hour. Then I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to take the foil off for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And it's going to be done, guys. So it's a miracle. It is six o'clock and I'll have dinner done by 7.30 before eight o'clock. <laughs> oh, by the way, guys, be sure to clean your mess up as you go. And then you don't have a big mess at the end. Or you can leave it all to the end and then you have a big mess. Either way, I guess it doesn't really matter. I like to clean as I go. All right, guys, see you guys. We're going to wrap it in foil, and then I will put it in the oven, and I will see you guys in about an hour, an hour and a half. Okay, guys, that's what it looks like after an hour. And um, I just took the foil off of it, so we are going to put it back in for probably at least 15 minutes. I'm going to go grab the garlic bread. All right, guys, there's the garlic bread, eight slices. Um, I put that in for 20 minutes, 20 more minutes, but I'm going to throw this garlic bread in too so that hopefully I can have it all done um, by 8 o'clock. All right, guys, lasagna is done. I already cut me a piece. Garlic bread is done. I got to turn. I always forget to turn the stove off. Almost always. Um, so... I'm going to let my piece cool off here for a second, and then I'll see you at the dinner table. Okay, guys. Lasagna. Some garlic bread. We're going to test it out. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. I'm sure it is. I can't wait to try the, the creamy Alfredo. Um, I know that I tried the Alfredo 
that we made that one time without anything else in it, and it was pretty good. Mmm. I got the right end. I got the pepperoni end. <laughs> Tastes really good. So I went out and I sprinkled the garden for 30 minutes with the sprinklers. And then I went out front and I turned the sprinklers on out there for 30 minutes. And then I turned the yard sprinklers on for 30 minutes. And now it's thundering. It's fixing the rain every freaking time. It's like I could have saved the water today and did it in a couple of days. I try to turn those sprinklers on like every other day. Um, and I've done it before and it, as soon as I turned, as soon as I was done sprinkling, it starts raining. All right, guys. So this is delicious. This is really good. Oh my goodness. And there's enough that I'll have to cook for at least two days. And then if they're not noodled out, I'm going to make the creamy parm, the creamy um, Alfredo lasagna. If they're, if they're noodled out, I'll probably make something else. I have a ham that I'm going to bake one day, you know, because that'll last two or three days. Um, but I can't wait too long to make the um, Alfredo because I have the ricotta cheese, the other half of the ricotta cheese in the, fridger, in the refrigerator. So, this is good. This is really good. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye.